So we have seen the basic concepts of message passing decoders. And now we would like to apply the concept of message passing decoding to LEPC cards. Before we do this, we need to introduce a new representation of the messages or the representation of the messages that we are actually going to use inside the decoder. And for this, we first need to introduce the so-called bipolar bit representation. What is the bipolar bit representation? We have already encountered it. The bipolar bit representation is closely related to the input of the binary input AWGN channel. And instead of using the bits 0 and 1 as an input to the channel, we use the convention that we transmit plus 1 or minus 1. And we use the following convention. So we use, we want to transmit a bit x equals 0. Then we map it to the bipolar value x double dot being equal to plus 1. And if we want to transmit a 1, binary 1, we map it to the bipolar value x double dot equals minus 1. So we use this notation x double dot to denote that it's bipolar. So these two dots, they look like BPSK symbols. So that's why we use it. So we can represent the values uh, as follows also. So x double dot is equal to minus 1 to the power x. That's a very shorthand notation for this. So if x equals 0, x double dot is uh, plus 1. If x equals 1, x double dot is minus 1. Or we can also say that x double dot is equal to 1 minus 2 times x. That's another representation. So then we saw that the field F2, so our binary numbers, forms a commutative group under the addition. So the addition is exclusive or, and uh, when we use this addition, we see that all the first five properties or the first six properties are actually, the first five properties are fulfilled, F1 to F5, and we have a commutative group under it. So now we have an isomorphism between the F2 and the set of plus one and minus one together with the multiplication. So if we have this set plus one minus one and we use the multiplication as operator, then again we have a commutative group because all the operations, they have uh, the properties F1 to F5 are fulfilled. So instead of looking at the binary numbers with the addition, an equivalent representation is the bipolar representation together with the multiplication. So we can see this. So we have the addition table of the, um, of the addition. Let's do this in the bottom here. So we have the addition table for 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the exclusive OR operation. And now we have, we go from F2 to plus minus one. And with the multiplication table, we have zero is mapped to plus one, one is mapped to minus one, plus one, minus one. And if we look at the multiplication, we have plus one times plus one equals plus one, plus one times minus one equals minus one, minus one times plus one equals minus one, minus one times minus one equals plus one. So we see that we have preserved the operation, so there's an isomorphism between the two representations. And um, for the decoder, we will frequently use this bipolar representation because it, we will see that it has some very nice advantages. So um, because of this isomorphism, what we can say is that this binary two addition of bits corresponds to a multiplication of the bipolar representation. So if you can write that y is equal to x plus e, binary vector plus an error vector, this is equivalent to saying that y double dot is equal to x double dot times e double dot. And um, because of this nice properties, the bipolar representation is very often used and it also resembles very closely 
the binary phase shift BPSK modulation form. So now we have a channel and we look at a certain class of channel. We look at the class of bipolar input, memoryless symmetric output channels, DIMSO channels, and they are defined as follows. So a bipolar input memoryless symmetric output channel, a BIMSO channel, is a channel that has a probability transition P of Y given X double dot equals plus one is equal to P of minus Y given X double dot is equal to minus one. If we transmit a plus one, we have P of Y given X equals plus one. If we transmit a minus one and we change the output sign, the uh, probability is preserved. So um, this is a very important class of channels because it allows us to use some simplification later on when we analyze the decoder. So essentially, the channels that we encountered before, the BEC, BSC, and binary input AW gen channel, they are such BIMSO channels. We can map the input from binary to bipolar. It doesn't change. It's just a convention of what is the input. And um, we can essentially do this mapping. So note that the binary erasure channel was not a weakly symmetric channel or symmetric channel as we defined it. This is something different. This was a symmetric channel looking at both the input and output. Here we're looking at just as symmetric output channels. That's why we make a distinction. This is a BIMSO channel. The other channels were symmetric channels. So the BIMSO channel um, is the channel that we are going to use later for the analysis. So this is the bipolar bit representation. Next, we are going to introduce log likelihood ratios.